you know, parenting is not easy. Do you have a child that's a prodigal child? Do you feel like sometimes you're raising a rebel? Well, Ruth Graham, the wife of Reverend Billy Graham, shares an encouraging word of wisdom that shifted her understanding when God spoke to her about her own prodigal children and what to do. Check it out. Be sure to subscribe and press alert to get new notifications of new success secrets made available on VFN TV. I think so much when I just saw the passing and the, the honor that was given to Reverend Billy Graham. You know, yes. President Donald Trump brought him into the rotunda and his, his, his casket was made by prisoners, you know. Uh, you know, just so much it's a beautiful. humble, humble Life. ministry from the beginning to the end. But you know, why Billy Graham? I don't know if you know this or not, but Reverend Billy Graham was a minister that traveled the whole world. They say individually, he spoke to more people, I guess, than anybody else. Believe two hundred and eighty-two million people. Right. So when he's out speaking out there, and he still has a wife and children, guess who's raising the children? It's going to be his wife, Ruth. Ruth. But they met, and it was a, a beautiful story about them. We'll have that available to you on the VFN Torch. But she, she's being interviewed, Ruth Graham is being interviewed by her daughter, which is Ann Graham, Graham Lotz. Lotz, but it's, it's, her, it's her daughter. And uh, she's asking her some very important questions. You could tell they're at the house there, you know, in mm. the Carolinas. And, uh, you know, about raising your children. Because, you know, so often, I mean, there's so much shaming and guilting on parents today in this society. They act like that. You know, they don't they're supposed to be perfect. They're well, supposed the to whole thing is the fact is no, not even knowing that, that it's not correct the way society is necessarily going today. Sure. There was a day you had to go out and grow your food, farm your food, milk your cow, do these different things today. And they expect, expect everybody to kind of bring things to them. But listen, while he was going out speaking to how many people? Over 280 million people yes, around the world. Around the world. And that was prior to texting and technology. It was a real miles. It was real miles that uh, he was gone six months at a time, sometimes mm. longer than that that Ruth was raising their kids. Her son is Franklin Graham, which you know today with Samaritan's Purse. Now he wrote the book, Rebel Without a Cause. So uh, we're not telling okay. you something that's not <laughs> out there already, but he was a prodigal. I mean, why Reverend Billy Graham was, was preaching and ministering at a stadium. Uh, Franklin was in the hotel next to him, smoking cigarettes, doing all this stuff, you know, not wanting to be able to serve God. And, and prodigal is one that's not following yes. the Lord, grew up maybe knowing things about Christ, but is not made a personal decision. Yeah, and so the you know that. So how you define a prodigal is that that where you know, you're wanting your children to serve the Lord and know God and His goodness and His forgiveness, so their eternity is good and and that they be blessed. But you know, you may have a child that just says, you know, all I want to do is just get away from the family and I want to go do my own thing. That's a prodigal. Jesus gave the story about the prodigal. What he said was there was this man. He had his family, and. Uh, he was loving on his children, his, you know, letting them have the, the run of the house or whatever's going on, the farm and things going on like that. But one of them said, listen, I want my inheritance now. Everything that you're going to give me, you know, you can you give it to me and go. I'm like, okay, here's your $25. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but whatever it was, he gave it to him and he left. And his life was just a squandered life. It was just squandered. Squandered. It was wasted. And, yeah, wasted. wasted life. And uh, he ended up, uh, you know, it was a financial crisis and he ended up in a bad depression. And he couldn't even find a job. And the only job he could find was actually feeding pigs. Mm. And the, the owner of the pigs wouldn't even let him eat any of the pig food. That's bad. And it says, at that point, he came to himself. And he realized that I sinned against God and I sinned against my family. So some, some people will tell them, you're sinning against God, is it against me? And it's like, they know that. Mm -hmm. But they have to come to that awareness. That's called a miracle. Let's see what... Uh, Ruth Graham said when Ann Graham's asking her the specific question is, you know, what do you do when you have a prodigal child? Let's listen to what she says. It wasn't too long after you were married that the children began coming along. And, and I have two brothers and two sisters. Uh, and some of us have been better than others of us. <laughs> and I know you've had at least one prodigal um, who's written a book, Rebel with a Cause, <laughs> and, and more than one, actually. We don't talk so much about the other ones. but. Um, uh, so as you were raising us and raising children, and, and we'll think about the prodigals for a moment, mm -hmm. what was there that gave you hope when your children, uh, your prodigal was uh, in the far country? The promises of God. I mean, they had been given to God before they were born. They didn't stand a chance. <laughs> <laughs> you read the poem, The Hound of Heaven. Um, you realize God's going to keep his hand on them wherever they are. And I'm sure he allowed them to go where they went. It, because through those experiences, they can relate to other prodigals today. And 
thank God both are preaching the everlasting gospel today. That's so exciting when you see that. Let me tell you something, you know, I don't know how old you are, but if you're young, you know, outside of what you think you can get in Google in a search engine, <laughs> to hear Ruth Graham, who was born in 1920, lived a faithful life, you know, loving God, loving her family, teaching them about things of God, I mean, just supporting, you know, Billy in the context of that, and dealing with Franklin. And yeah. the, the fact is, is that that's just honey. That's honey. If you want to know some wisdom, that's honey in regards to what gives you hope. It's the Word of God and the promises of God and that, you know, you have to entrust the miracles to God. That's and right. you know, what's a miracle and what's things that you can do. And so listen, maybe that's you. Maybe you have a prodigal child right now. Maybe, you know, you are, uh, and that pain is tough. I mean, you, you, know, you love your child. You've raised him or her from that particular age. And they seem so free loving and just like everything was great. And all of a sudden the enemy came in and just tempted them and they went for it. And they just all of a sudden turned into this other person. And you don't even know who they are anymore. And your, your heart's broken and you don't know what to do. And, you know, you don't, you're, you're praying. Well, listen, maybe that's you. You know, we want to hear from you. Comment below and share that with us, you know, and our community will be praying with you. But also write to us about it. Maybe you were a prodigal and you actually came back to your family, came back to God. And now you're honoring your family. And the truth is, everybody in all humanity, we were all prodigals. And God called us back. The Father is actually Father. God calling us all back through His Son. And it's, we sinned against God and we sinned against man. And we can make a decision for God. And we did that. John and I did that. We talked about that at meetmyfather.org. you got to find out about how we met Father God through His Son, Jesus Christ. It's meetmyfather.org. Be sure to subscribe and press alert to get new notifications of new success secrets made available on VFN TV. You know, a lot of people want to abide with the Lord, but they just don't have a plan to do it. You can request that plan today at iabide.org. I'm your host, Greg Lancaster, and we're so glad that you've joined us. Don't forget you can join us 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Download our app and sign up for our newsletter, The Torch, at vfntv.com. I've enjoyed our time together. God bless.